Okay, this is my touring bike, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about my touring bike because I tend to get quite a lot of questions asked when I'm out touring in different parts of the country and different parts of the world. So I just thought I'd make a short video just explaining some of the things on my my bike and the setup that I actually run. So this bike's made by Thorn in the UK, and it's a Thorn Sherpa. And the bike is an uh, expedition touring bike, so it's built to be a lot more robust. It's built to be used over long periods of time and to carry a lot of weight, as well as it has the ability to go off-road uh, in a similar fashion as a mountain bike would be used up woods and up hills and places like that. More, if you. If you're travelling to more remote areas, then uh, it might be something you might consider. So, we'll have a look at my bike. So, uh, it has 26 inch mountain bike wheels on it, with 2 inch tyres. And actually inside the tyres, I've put, uh, like a, you can buy this uh, puncture preventative lining that goes around the the inside of the tyre which helps prevent thorns and that from penetrating the tyre or sharp rocks and such like and also as an extra precaution I've put slime inner tubes in there which have a, a, a liquid that actually if you do in the unfortunate event get a puncture the liquid actually goes to that area and seals the hole so they're quite good the tyre does go down after a puncture but what you do is you just pump it back up again, spin it around, and generally the hole is actually sealed so you can continue on your way without too much hassle of taking the wheel off and removing the, the inner tube and putting a new inner tube in. And, and that can be really quite difficult, especially if you're in a city where I've had the unfortunate event of having a puncture in the middle of Paris and it becomes very difficult when you've got to find somewhere to change the, the inner tube and that you've got to take all your equipment off your bike and stuff like that and it's lying at the side of the road and you've got your bike upside down so it becomes a bit of a drama, a bit of a nightmare so what the slime inner tubes do and the puncture protection that I've got in there is they, they help to actually prevent that kind of scenario so it allows you to cycle through big cities and remote areas with a little bit of sort of peace of mind. On the the pannier racks, I've got these alloy pannier racks that I, that I picked up at Halfords for £10. They're really quite good pannier racks because the, I found that the the alloy that they're made of is quite sort of flexible in that. So it doesn't tend to break if you if you have a, an accident or anything like that. It just tends to bend, like bend out or bend in a bit. So I found that, you know, if, if anything happens, I tend to just generally bend it back into shape, which is quite good. Saves the, the, the possibility that the rack will actually break, so you're not left with that drama if that happens. The handlebars, if we look at the handlebars, I've put uh, mountain bike handlebars on, but these are downhill mountain bike handlebars, which are a lot stronger. So if the bike falls over and that, there's less chance of the handlebars actually bending or anything like that. So it's, it's quite good like that. On the end, I've got uh, these ski pole type bar ends with foam. And on top of that, I've wrapped racing handlebar tape. And that generally just takes a lot of the vibrations out from the road. And it makes, makes the bar ends a lot more comfortable to hold on to, especially over long distances. And with the handlebars themselves, I've actually, you can't, probably can't see this, but I've cut them down to the same width as my shoulders. So what that enables me to do is, if, if I'm getting on and off trains and the door's not that wide, it just makes it easier for me to get my bike on and off trains and into sort of like through doorways and things like that in hotels and, and that kind of idea. So it's really quite good at that, uh, with that aspect. On the on the top here I've got uh, a weather station and that basically just uh, helps me get an idea of what the weather is going to be like that day. It has a built-in barometer, temperature gauge, altimeter, 
so it's it's quite good like that, especially if you're in uh, areas where the weather is unpredictable. I've also got a holder on here that takes my smartphone with GPS, and on on the front here I've got my handlebar bag rack fitted there, and next to that I've got a a speedometer which gives me trip time and trip distance and such like. Looking back here, I've got three water bottle cages on the bike and these are made from a softer alloy as well a bit similar to the the panniers and this enables me to spread them out and open them out a bit so I can take bigger bottles so I can take two litre water bottles turned upside down and pushed in there so it's really good so I can carry more water I did have one on the, the crossbar but it broke off so I'm currently in the process of replacing that. I've got a pump, two pumps here, one here, one here, because I have lost a pump in the past, so I carry a spare just in case. And this one's attached with Velcro to the the actual holder that it sits in, so so I know that it's safe. And this one here comes in its own housing, which attaches to the bike as well, so that's really good. I've got SPD pedals on there and that's mainly because I pre prefer SPDs now rather than to actual toe clips but I mean the preference is yours really. On here I've got a piece of climbing rope attached to the bike and what that actually allows me to do is if I'm putting the bike onto a train or something like that I can get the front wheel up, I can step up and I can grab that and I can pull the rest of the bike up behind me. It's also really good for getting across ditches and such like, especially if you're looking for a campsite at night. The last thing you want to be doing is, is fumbling around trying to lift the bike over obstacles and this just allows you to drag the back end of the bike with you. On the rear I've got my pannier rack. It's, uh, this is a really big pannier rack. It's really strong as well. And you might pick one of these up on eBay for, you know, £25, £30, pounds, but they really are really good pannier racks. And the saddle, I've got uh, just a cheap saddle that I bought, but it's, it's, it's wide at the rear, it's got air that goes into it, and it's a really comfortable saddle over long periods of time. And the mud guard, I've actually cut this back, which uh, allows me to flip the bike over onto the... You know, if I need to do any maintenance work and that, it allows me to flip the bike over without the going onto the mud guard and breaking it or anything like that. Like it just keeps it nice and snug up in underneath the pannier rack. So that's that's my bike. If you have any questions, just uh, feel free to ask them in the comments area, and uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.